the start of the thread, not the eye. And we work our way down. Now at this point here I remove the waist piece. And then carry on down, just slightly by the point, just halfway between the point and the barb. Now, the hen neck, as I said, I'm going to use a natural black hen, and I'm going to use these bigger feathers up the top for the tail. So you a few fibres now, just bring them 90 degrees from the stem, just like that, and this will line up the tips, then we just remove them. And then you're looking a good half dozen or so. Length of the body for the tail, tie all the back, and then we want to form like a small tag or so for the, the back of the fly just at that point. And then remove the, the excess but the length of the body or to the point where you'd be tying in the hackle, which is about a mill and a half from the eye. Now the body itself is a mole, but I've mixed some dyed black mole as well as natural mole and a wee bit of rabbit. This is a good blend. It's always done well for me. And then we just slightly I just basically put it on, stick it up to the hook, do a turn to get it started. That's the anchor point at the hook. And then we just feed it on, tightening up when we need to, and try and form like a, a tapered body, not an M shaped body. Stretch out, coming back slightly if we need to just to form the shape. To this point here. And there we are. Out this one here. That looks okay. Now for the hackle, we've got the, the natural black. Now I'm going to tie this in, basically, normally hen hackles you would tie in by the tip. In this case, I'm just going to tie it in down the bottom. I'm just going to pull away the fluff, the good side of the feather facing myself, come down two or three turns, fold it back, come back up, and break that off. Now we're ready to wind our hackle. Now I have waxed the, the thread so we've got plenty of grip. Now what I'm going to do here is just fold the, the hackle and then I want to put probably fibre's quite thin on this. Now at least a couple of turns anyway. Oops. <laughs> Keep a hold of the hackle at this point. That's fine. Across your thread. Three turns down, and then what I'm going to do here is fold back the hackle, tuck it back. Now, just roll in these fibres, or encourage the fibres to come back because you're actually winding up against the dubbin and it'll lift them slightly. Now, we're going to tie in our wing. Now, our wing is water hen, these are the primary feathers. Basically, we need a right and a left side. So I'm taking a small slip from the right and one from the left. Now you want the inside of these feathers, meaning the there's that's basically the front. But you want the front to be the inside of the wing, and obviously the other side to be the outs. It's just that it's just the way the curve, the natural curve of the feather and the colours is nice. She's taking a tiny bit too much there for this size of fly, so I'm going to take some of the fibres away. It's okay. Same on the other side. Now we want to measure them up. Just lay them so that the tips are coming together. And then we're going to tie them on the top. I want the wing to come slightly on the side of the hook, so I'm going to come in, bring them in. Now, basically, get it as close or on the shank itself. I'm just going to do a kind of loose turn, just pinch and loop, and then come in with another turn just to hold. I'm going to position the wings and look at the length. Now, that's just a wee tad too long, so I'm just going to come back. It's quite easy to go back at this point, and then push it forward. Come in, both slips. Again, tighten up. Again, another turn. If you're not happy, you can always go back. Let me see that. That looks okay. That's fine. Now, it's just the weight of the bobbin that's holding this at the point, so make sure you've got sharp scissors when you're trimming that away. 
and then make sure you tie this in. We better wax on my thread, tidy the head up. Then we're ready to have our wings sitting. Looks okay. Not my best wing, but it's okay. It's nice and reasonably low. That's fine. Uh, then all we have to do is just a flat finish. See that stuff there. Clean that thread. Scan. You're doing a turn. Front to the other. You're looking three to four turns. Trim away your thread. It's nice and tight. And come in and uh, some varnish. All the way around. A couple of coats. I mean, a single coat will do it, like, but. Yeah. And there's your iron blue. Uh, wet fly. <laughs>